few of us who are fortunate enough not to have to work for our living. The vast majority of us have to earn our bread in one way or another. To the lucky ones, work is a daily pleasure. To the others, it's the daily grind. I'm here to ask people how they feel about their own particular way of making a living. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, hello, Honky Tonks. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you. I'm asking about various aspects of work. How do you mean? Well, for instance, do you believe that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy? Well, if you're referring to Jolly Jack the Sailor, <laughs> there's nothing dull about him. Oh, I must dash, or I'll miss my train to Portsmouth. See you. <laughs> ah, now, here's a gentleman who looks as if his work lies in the country. Ah, that's right. Are you in London on business, sir? Oh, I brought the old bitch up for the sheep dog trials. Really? Have you had a long? Ah, last year we celebrated our silver wedding anniversary. <laughs> Miss. Oh, miss. May I ask you, as an unmarried lady, do you have a job of work? Yes, I'm training to be a prison visitor. Oh, highly commendable. Yes, I can't wait to visit the men in their cells and sort out their little problems. In their cells? <laughs> Surely some of them haven't seen a woman for years. Wouldn't you consider that a risk? Oh, no, a fringe benefit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm looking for a nice young no. man. No, 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 Excuse me, sir. All right. May I ask how you earn your living? Well, I'm self-employed, aren't I? Really? What exactly do you do? I'm in the other wise or business. The what? The other wise or business. Uh, perhaps you could explain that. Well, I go to the shopkeeper. He gives me five pounds a week. Otherwise, I'll kick his windows in. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a word with you, sir? Oh, yes. I'm asking about people's occupations. I'm a medical practitioner. Ah, a doctor. Well, a psychiatrist to be exact. I treat the troubled mind, root out delusions and fantasy. Oh, fascinating. It, it must be a tremendous strain, that sort of job. Well, not really. I mean, when one has had the necessary training and background, it's really quite a doddle. Isn't it, Herbert? <laughs> Herbert? He's my partner. Remarkably fine doctor for a 14-stone battery car. <laughs> Come along, Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. I'm asking people about work. Oh, yes. Tell me, do you find it very hard work digging these holes? Well, it's easy if you've got a system. Now, me, I digs my guts out for an hour, then I leans on my shovel for five minutes, like I'm doing now, you see. You haven't got a shovel. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Now, here's a charming young lady. Oh, hello. Hello. May I ask you, miss, do you earn your own living? Oh, yes. I work for my fiancé. Sometimes I do 12 hours a day, but as is for him, I don't mind. I see. So you don't object to him keeping you hard at it? <laughs> I mean, you quite enjoy the daily grind. You're awful. I like you. <laughs> You rotten cow. <laughs> you treacherous cat. You conniving, perfidious creature. Why, whatever have I done? Now, don't start piping your eye. You know jolly well what you've done. What, may I ask, is that? I could very well ask you the same question, Edna Dawkins. Let me inform you that I have been appointed the soul the sole slap-on representative of Awesome So East. You never. You can't because I have. You haven't. Oh, yes, I have. That nice Mr. Rabin. He came round to see me, the area manager. He took one look at me and he said, you should drop everything and get on my star. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him ten pounds for these samples. You poor fool. You never got any money out of me. No. You probably paid him the same way you pay your milk bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
work, who's talking? And who is it has a cold delivered at three o'clock in the morning? Edna Dawkins, may you be forgiven. Anyway, you're not having her. You're not having Beatty. Why not? She's my friend, not yours. Your friend? Who do you think it was told me about the Coleman? Oh, you've got a horrible nature. <laughs> Just because I take a part-time job, well, I can do with a bit extra, same as everybody else. Oh, now we're back to the Coleman, aren't we? <laughs> Honestly, how you can say these awful things, I just don't know. Easy, I just open my mouth and they pour out. <laughs> anyway, shovel, find your own mouth. No, I won't. I'll come back and run that down. For goodness sake, get on my nerves. You... Oh, hello, Edna. Hello, Ethel. Oh, good, good morning, morning, madam. madam. I, am I am your slap on representative, bringing, bringing you the, the world's, world's finest selection of cosmetics to, to be selected in the peace and quiet and comfort of your own home. May I come in? Until you've tried slap on, you have not realised your full potential as a woman. As a woman? Make the most of your true qualities with slap on. The quality cosmetic. The quality cosmetic. Regain the bloom of youth with our fa new facial treatment. Named after Helen of Troy. The face that launched a thousand ships. Launched a thousand ships? I'll launch you in a minute, you flaming echo, you. <laughs> I assure you, madam, you can safely put yourself in my hands because I am a fully trained beauty expert. And so am I. <laughs> Look at her, I ask you. If she was a beauty expert, would she be walking about behind a face like that? Well, <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't know the older of yours, I don't, do you? <laughs> well, anyway, my boyfriend thinks I'm sexy. Only because you feed his guide dog. <laughs> <laughs> going to sit here and insult each other. I've got a couple of things I want to get off of my chest. I'm sure you haven't done it already. It's <laughs> because I'm a bit on the slim side. Slim? You look like a stick of rhubarb. Look, I don't want to then interfere. Then don't, dear. Beauty love, madam, I think you could look your best in our dawn glow range. Cobblers. <laughs> there speaks a lady. She's a tropical mystery if I've ever saw one. Look, I Think. Then don't, dear. Leave it all to me. Beatty, what you need is our crushed peach foundation. Pulp raspberry. With a touch of honey kiss, light as a feather, powder. No, oh, Tondaleo's blush, if ever I saw one. With green eyeshadow. Blue. Green. Blue. Now look at oh, each other. shut up. All right, Miss Clever Draws. You have asked for it. Well. We'll split her down the middle. Oh! There we are. <laughs> now, that's yours, that's mine. Stay on your own side. Right. Now we shall see who is worthy to be Miss Area representative, won't we? Right. Go. Right. Say, my side of your face looks ten years younger. And my side's all peaches and cream. Looks like rhubarb and custard from here. <laughs> Look, I really... Here, hold that a minute. <laughs> there, oh, <laughs> there now. Who's going to be Miss Waltham so east of 1973, then? Now, who can make you up better than that? Well, as a matter of fact, I can. Well, I've been trying to tell you all along. Mr. Rabin came to see me as well. Oh, you rotten cow. You <laughs> treacherous cat. You conniving, perfidious creature. All right, come on, Ethel. We're wasting our time here. What about my face? Buy a frame, stick your head through it. You look like a flaming Picasso. <laughs> Good morning, madam. I'm your slap on representative. Oh, shut Check up. Out. <laughs> Come on, Sid. You won't believe what I've done till you see it with your own eyes. Now, there was something I was going to say to you. I wonder what it was. <laughs> That's right. Now, remember now, mind the stairs. <laughs> well, there you are. What do you think? Be honest. Well, I must say you've made a miracle down here, Arthur. A real miracle. Yes. Well, I always was useful with my hands. 
When I retired from Smidley and Eston's, I just had to keep myself busy. Highly commendable. Yep. Thirty-five years of stuffing I had with them. Hey. <laughs> In the mattress department. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll have, a, have a look at that over there, that dartboard. Go and have a close look. Notice anything unusual? No. Made it myself. There's 239,406 used meshes in that dartboard. <laughs> Here, have a go. Lord, I don't know where you get the patience. <laughs> yeah, I've got have a go. Is it all right? Of course it is, what it's made for. You made this board yourself, Arthur? Every bit. <laughs> Including the glue. <laughs> yeah, I've got something over here, my dear Miss Hughes, seeing as you like a little tipple. Only on high days and other days I do. Hey, I'll look at them. Like a row of little soldiers, aren't they? Yes. Now, let me see those uh, rhubarb, parsnip, nettle, cauliflower. <laughs> Wonder which one's ready. No. Yeah. No, not that one. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I think that one's ready. <laughs> well, taste it. <clears throat> Have a taste. Like nectar, isn't it? Yes. Do you know, that jar full cost me less than 50 pence. Yes. They charge you eight quid a bottle for that at Claridge's, you know. I must say it's got a very good bouquet. Yes, yes. <laughs> Perhaps you'd uh, sooner have a beer. Perhaps I'd better. Good, right. Too much wine disagrees with my stomach. Right, come over to the bar then. Sit yes. yourself down. Did you make the stew yourself, oh, Arthur? Certainly. <laughs> It's very nice, that is. Yes. Very nice. Very nice, yes. Well, get up on it then. <laughs> hey, that's very comfortable, Good. that is. Yes. Here, did you make the. <laughs> Wonderful what they can do with plastic these days. Yeah. Yeah, come over here. I want to show you my piece of resistance. Look at that. Little beauty, isn't it? Took me six months to make this. I could see you and me having a many a happy an hour on this table. But I don't play snooker, Arthur. You soon will do after you had two tuition from me. <laughs> How about a quick frame? Yes. All right. <laughs> Oh, I like the painting, Arthur. Do you? Yes, I knocked it up myself. I had a bit left over after I finished the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, waste not, want not, you know. Very nice. Yeah. What is it? The view from the bicycle shed. <laughs> I've been off in 25 quid for that. I can't get over it. So much talent in one person. Yes, well, some of us have it and some don't. <laughs> 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 I see you broken. <laughs> well, my shot then. Well, I haven't played much lately, you know. I'll tell you what, I'll show you a trick shot. Now, make that ball there. Jump over that ball there, go straight in that pocket. Ready? Yes. What's this? <laughs> look at that. Solid meogany, look at that. That'll never walk. Or if you like, you could play table tennis. You, know? you 
think of everything, don't you, Arthur? Well, as although I say it, I shouldn't. I've always had a good memory, you know. <laughs> Nothing much I slip up on, you know. I won't argue with you there, Arthur. You're oh. a phenomenal, that's what you are. Well, no, but there, has, uh, there has been something niggling at my mind for days, you know. For the life of me, I can't think what it was. Oh. <laughs> that's it, Sid. It's reminded me. I must tell the coma we've changed to oil. <laughs> Do come in, my dears, and make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> I really must apologise for the chilly atmosphere in here, but something appears to have gone wrong with the central heating. I've been waiting three weeks to have it put right. Do you know how difficult it is to get hold of a plumber? Now do sit down, Evelyn, <laughs> or Brett, and dare try to mess for of course. And now let us apply ourselves for the last time to the task at hand. Yes, and about time too. Three years we've been at this. My dear Aubrey, one can hardly choose a new poet laureate by sticking a pin into the golden book of verse. Oh, noble mind, oh, spirit free, the laurel wreath shall come to thee. Oh, my God, that sounded just like the fairy queen in Robinson Crusoe. No, no, Evelyn, that's uncut. Ghastly woman. Please, peace, there is no time for bickering. We must have a name to give to Sir Lawrence when he arrives. Now, would it be correct to say that the most promising name to arise from our diligent sifting is that of Peregrine Milbank? Uh, yes, but for God's sake, get on with it. Three blasted years, I ask The you. man's a hack or rotten choice. Should have been a woman. So should you, dear. <laughs> peace, peace. Now, I suggest that in order to refresh our minds, I dip at random into Peregrine's latest volume which is very kindly dedicated to me. Dirty little creep. Yeah. <laughs> a short poem entitled Seasons. The searing bite of winter's tooth, the glittering days of summer, an inner voice within me speaks. Good morning, I'm the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you come at the most inconvenient time. Ah, oh, did you hear that, Well, hmm. Yeah, we said inconvenient. It's all right, isn't it? A couple of working fellas trying to do an honest day's work. Don't matter about the toffs, do it? Ah, oh, but you see, we too are working. Oh, really? You're working, are you? Ha-ha! <laughs> Here, what's he supposed to be doing then? He's probably creating. Yeah, so would my governor if he caught me sitting about like that. <laughs> <laughs> what's she been doing then? Treading grapes? <laughs> Right, what's your trouble then? Bath, basin or bog? Central heating, actually. Central heating? Oh, yeah. Uh, that radiator, then. Oh, what's wrong with it? It's very cold, it's always dripping, and it makes rumbling noises in the night. You've just described my wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of banging in the night. Yeah, with a mush like that, love, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, yes, the second verse. Autumn comes with assassin's sword, and summer's buds are fell. I say, would you mind terribly not making quite so much noise? Oh, come on, bro. No, no, please carry on. Uh, I do apologise. It's just that my colleagues now are trying to reach a most important decision. Oh, vote Labour, love. No, you must understand me. Oh, really? We are in process of choosing a new poet laureate. You mean to say you lot of poets? Well, we're men of letters, yes. Yeah, well, do you realise you're in amongst a lot of intellectuals? Well, there's a coincidence then, isn't it, eh? <laughs> I'm a bit of poet myself, you know. I've dabbled with the bard. Yeah, and I what? Eh? My poems. Tell them about my poems. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I wrote a slogan for our firm once. Yeah. Yeah. If your ball cock's giving trouble, send for pococks at the double. We have a lovely little firm in Wallam Green. We've another branch of pinner, what's turning out a winner, and I'll see you by the river, Nelly D. <laughs> How on earth did she get in there? She was pushed. <laughs> Very good, I'm sure. Yeah. But we really must get on. It's half past twelve already. Lunch, Bob, come okay. on, sit down. Move up a bit, love, will you? Now, listen, don't you take any notice of us. You just carry on as though we weren't here, all right? Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? <laughs> Do you hear that, Rob? Sunny chalk, lovely. <laughs> you pin your lug holes back, mate, you'll learn a lot here. Yeah? <laughs> well, let us pursue our endeavours and return to the works of Peregrine Milbank. I would like to read you another of his poems, which I feel amply demonstrates the brilliance of his imagery and at the same time his exquisite use of nuance. 
Having heard it, I'm sure you would agree that Peregrine must be our first choice. <laughs> well, I don't know. I had a row with the missus this morning. <laughs> please, please, time presses. Now, listen. What's the going right for this poet laughing? He receives no salary whatsoever. Well, how do you keep his kids in grub, then? Don't tell me he goes down to the butcher and says, give us a couple of pork chops and I'll tell you a rhyme. <laughs> no, no. He celebrates royal events and occasions by writing a special poem. Well, it's easy, isn't it? I mean, anybody can write a poem. I, I can do it. Can I do that, Walt? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one right now. Uh, hang on. How does this strike you? The Queen, God bless her cotton socks, reigns o'er the English taps and jocks. Far flung her power and her might from South End to the Isle of Wight. All the people go to Windsor Town to see her wear the royal crown. How they love to cheer and clap her when it's on a little napper. <laughs> Magnificent, superb. There speaks Vox Populi. Oh, my dear Salons, I do apologise. What? You actually liked it? Liked it? You are to be congratulated, my dear Charles. So this is to be our new poet laureate. <laughs> you mean? Absolutely, dear fellow. My dear Charles, in the present mood of the people, he will be highly acceptable. A poet laureate with mass appeal. I suppose it's too much to hope that you're a shop steward. No, but if you want one, I soon will be. <laughs> all right, you lot, all down the palace for a poet's picket. And if your poem doesn't rhyme, put it right on overtime. <laughs> I know it doesn't look very promising, but you never know. We might find something here, dear. Well, you know, Alice, I've always admired your ingenuity in finding unusual prizes for the tombola. <laughs> well, one has to do one's best for the charity, especially when one's president. You might find some little something uh, to donate yourself, dear. Oh, well, yes, of course, dear. Anything for a good cause. Well, I... Hello? Anybody there? Let pick your snivelling old fool. Get out there. There's someone in the shop! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, may I be of assistance to you? Oh, oh, you lady, sir. Poor man! Are you all right? Yes, perfectly, madam, perfectly all right. Yeah. Oh, the pain. Oh, you poor creature. Cut yes. out the small talk, Lampwick, and get on with the tail! Who on earth is that? Uh, is that your employer? Yes, madam, yes. Well, I must say, he sounds most offensive. Oh, no, 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 not Mr. Savage, madam, no, no. He's the nicest gentleman I've ever met, Mr. Savage, is he? Oh, good, kind and gentle, Mr. Savage is. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Savage is, yes. Now, what the, what, what, what can I, can I have the pleasure of, can I have the pleasure of showing you, madam? Ah, now, well, we were looking for something a, a little out of the ordinary as a prize for a charity tombola. Oh, thank you, madam. <laughs> thank you. You're going to buy something. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that means food tonight. <laughs> what on earth do you mean? Oh, you see, when I, when I make a sale, Mr. Savage lets me eat. What? <laughs> yes, and very nice it is too. Yes, lovely fresh water straight from the tap. Yes, you'll be surprised how soft the bread gets after you've soaked it a couple of hours. <laughs> bread water, right? Yes. Unbelievable. Don't you ever get any meat? Oh, yes, I used to, yes. Delicious chunks of liver in rich gravy. <laughs> but that did tire me. <laughs> and the cat's got so strong now, I can't fight him for it anymore. <laughs> Why don't you go out and have a meal in a cat? Oh, now, well, you see, when we shut up, Mr. Savage takes my teeth away. Now, quick, get a move on. When you're finished out there, I want you to fetch that grand piano up from the cellar. Oh, yes, 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 Mr. Savage. Oh, cool, blimey, there's another rupture coming up. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, go, he'll go once through the bluebells of Scotland, then I'll have to take it down again. <clears throat> now, look here, yes. Mr. Uh, Mr. Lampwick, madam, Lampwick, James Maynard. Oh, you kitchen a lamp with <laughs> You don't have to put up with this. You have only to hand in your notice. Hand him up. Leave my place in... Oh, I, I, I couldn't do that. I've worked here for 65 years. It's my bread and water. 
Oh, Besides, nobody leaves the savages. How did you come to fall into his hands in the first place? Well, you see, madam, it was like this. You see, it was during Derby Day in 1908. The horse, Signorinetta, had won it, you see, and I was only a little shaver at the time. <laughs> and my daddy took me to Epsom to see the GGs, you see. Oh, how nice. Yes, oh, very fond of a flat, and my daddy was, and he placed me as security with the bookmaker on a two-way, two-bob-each-way bet, you see. Yes, and that, that bookmaker was Mr Savage's father, old <coughs> Silas, you see. Do you mean to say that he lost you on a wager? Oh, yes, and a very uncomfortable journey I had in old Silas's satchel. Oh, didn't, he, didn't your father try to get you back? Oh, God rest his soul, yes, yes. He bet my sister on the four o'clock and that went down as well. <laughs> How appalling! Yes, lucky my mum ran off with a soldier, otherwise he'd have lost her on the oaks, for sure, I tell you. Get him on, you old bag of bones, or I'll come out there after you. Yes, all right, Mr Savage, don't... I'm, I'm doing the best, I'm try, <coughs> trying to hurry now. Uh, what can I... Here, how about this nice bust here, Dear, no, 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 I don't think so. No, perhaps not. What about this, uh, here, this lovely picture here? Now, this is very nice. Uh, now, have a good look at that. Um, there we uh, are. Yeah, look. Now, if you stand back a bit, you see you'll get a better effect. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Hell's flaming bells, what have you broken now? I'll come out of your wages. Oh, no, it won't. Certainly not. I broke it. I shall pay for it. How much is it? Twenty-five pounds. Oh, good heavens. Don't pay it, ma'am. Even if he breaks me arm, it'll be a lovely rest in hospital. Oh, certainly <laughs> I shall pay it. They are the vicious brute. Oh, bless you, lady, bless you. And please, madam, do buy something, anything. Now, Otherwise, now, you'll... now. Yes, yes. Calm yourself. Of course I'm going to buy something. Yes, yes. We must look on this as an act of charity, dear. I'll, um, uh, I have that. I got, got that. that, that. Oh, that, oh, yes. Oh, yes, that, that'll come in very handy, that will. What is it? A moustache cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How much is it? No, no. Fly off, ladies. Go on, leave what? me to my fate. Go on. Why? Why is it so expensive? Yes, it's 30. It's 30. It's 30. It's 30. It's 30 pounds. Take it or leave it. I'll leave it. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, my God, not that. What's that? He's opening the cupboard. What does he keep in the cupboard? A whip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor man. Here, take it. Take it. Take it all. Uh -oh. There. Thank there. You, Come madam. along, Gwen. Thank here. you, madam. Now then, oh, if you. he lays a finger on you again, go to the police. Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> Oh, my God. Let the you snivelling old fool get out there. There's someone in the shop. Get knotted. Cut out the small talk, Lampwick, and get on with the sale. Lampwick, get a move on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's the end of our first show. I hope you enjoyed it. I must say I'm very glad to be back. And I'll see you all again next week. Good night. <laughs>